Grootslang, the mythical guardian of hidden treasures in South Africa. Grootslang, steeped in the folklore of South Africa, emerges as a captivating creature that inhabits the collective imagination of the region. It is not just any serpent but a mythical creature, born from the unintended merging of traits belonging to an elephant and a snake. This unique combination of features gives the Grootslang an aura of majesty and power. According to legend, the Grootslang's existence is attributed to a mistake made by the gods themselves. The story tells of divine beings who, in a moment of oversight, blended the characteristics of an elephant and a snake while creating this mythical creature. This divine error resulted in the birth of a being with unparalleled strength and prowess. Legends proclaim that this huge serpent guards a secret cave where untold riches are hidden. The creature's role as a protector of these treasures adds an element of mystery and danger to its legend, making it both feared and revered by those who dare to seek the fabled riches. Abada, the mystical horned serpent of West African legend. In West African folklore, the defining feature of the Abada is its solitary, gracefully curved horn, similar to that of a unicorn. The Abada is renowned for its alleged healing powers, attributed to the magical properties in its horn. Legends speak of the horn possessing the ability to cure sicknesses, ward off evil forces, and bring about blessings. The serpent's connection to magic adds a layer of mysticism to its role in the collective imagination of West African communities. The allure of the Abada's horn is such that it becomes a desired and highly sought-after treasure. Tales tell of adventurers and seekers embarking on quests to obtain the precious horn, driven by the belief in its ability to bestow health, fortune, and protection upon its possessor. The pursuit of the Abada's horn becomes a symbolic journey, in search of both physical and spiritual well-being. You are watching the Tales of the Savannah. Subscribe and be part of the tribe. Now, let's get back to the story. Amphisbina in African Folklore The Amphisbina, a mythical serpent with a head on each end, has found its way into the rich history of African folklore, capturing the imaginations of various communities across different regions, including North Africa. The Amphisbina's dual heads moving in opposite directions serve as a potent symbol of duality, embodying contrasting forces in the natural world. In African folklore, duality often signifies the interconnectedness of opposing elements, such as life and death, creation and destruction, or order and chaos. The serpent, with its opposing heads, becomes a living embodiment of the delicate balance maintained within the cosmic order. In Kanyamba in Zulu mythology, the serpent of storms and power. In Kanyamba, a prominent figure in Zulu mythology originating from southern Africa, According to Zulu mythology, Inkanyamba is believed to inhabit water bodies, often associated with lakes or rivers. Tales describe it as a powerful and awe-inspiring creature. Inkanyamba is closely tied to the forces of nature, particularly storms and floods. Zulu myths portray the serpent as having the ability to influence weather patterns, with its presence often linked to the onset of storms or heavy rainfall. This association underscores its role as a symbol of both the life-giving and potentially destructive aspects of nature. Regarded as a powerful entity, Inkanyamba is not to be taken lightly. The serpent is sometimes depicted as a vengeful force, capable of causing havoc when displeased or provoked. Stories warn of the consequences of disrespecting or angering Inkanyamba, highlighting the need for reverence and caution in dealing with such a formidable being. Nyami Nyami a revered figure in the traditions of the Tonga people in southern Africa, particularly along the Zambezi River, emerges as a guardian spirit deeply embedded in the cultural fabric of the region. Often described as a serpent dragon-like creature, Nyami Nyami embodies the spirit of the river, becoming a symbol of life, fertility, and the natural cycles that sustain the surrounding communities. As the river rises and falls, Nyami Nyami's presence is felt as a guardian force regulating the cycles of nature. Nyami Nyami is believed to possess the power to bring prosperity or unleash destructive forces, depending on how the river and its spirit are treated. The dam, built across the Zambezi River, disrupted the river's flow and displaced Nyami Nyami from its traditional habitat. Explore our dedicated video on Nyami Nyami and the havoc it caused during the bridge construction. The legend of Nyami Nyami has also contributed to the cultural tourism of the region. The Zambezi River and the Kariba Dam draw visitors who are captivated by the mythology surrounding Nyami Nyami, turning the guardian spirit into a symbol that resonates beyond the Tonga communities. Edo Wido in Vodun mythology. Deep within the heart of Benin, lies Edo Wido, the divine rainbow serpent. Edo Wido is envisioned as a majestic serpent, whose scales gleam with the vibrant colors of the rainbow. Edo Wido is associated with the act of creation and the maintenance of cosmic balance. In Vodun cosmology, 
The serpent is believed to have played an important role in shaping the world, its smooth movement symbolizing the rhythmic dance of creation and destruction that sustains the universe. The serpent is believed to cradle the earth, its coiled body forming a foundation upon which the cosmos rests. This symbolism underscores the belief that the serpent upholds the very essence of life, acting as a stabilizing force in the vast and intricate network of spiritual and natural energies. Lakwata, Baganda Mythology A legendary figure in Baganda mythology originating from the heart of Uganda, emerges as a captivating and mysterious sea serpent. It has been described as 20 to 30 feet or 6 to 9 meters long, with dark smooth skin and a rounded head, and known to attack fishermen and boats. The myth of Lakwata is deeply rooted in the cultural traditions of the Baganda people, who have shared stories of this mythical creature for generations. Within Baganda folklore, Lakwata is believed to inhabit the vast waters of Lake Victoria, the largest lake in Africa. The association with Lake Victoria elevates the serpent's significance, as the lake itself holds immense importance in the lives of the Baganda people, providing sustenance, livelihoods, and a source of wonder. The serpent's appearance is considered a bringer of both fortune and misfortune, depending on the circumstances of the encounter. Its presence adds an element of unpredictability to the daily lives of those who depend on the lake. Leviathan in African folklore, a symbol of chaos and formidable force. Although the Leviathan is not exclusively tied to African folklore, it occasionally appears in the context of sea serpents within various myths across the continent. Its presence adds a layer of mystery and symbolism to the rich fabric of African storytelling. In many African myths, the Leviathan serves as a potent symbol of chaos. Its presence is linked to the unpredictable and uncontrollable aspects of nature, particularly the vast and sometimes tumultuous seas. The Leviathan represents the primal, chaotic forces that exist beyond human control, reminding communities of the inherent unpredictability of life. Oshinmare in Yoruba mythology, the rainbow serpent of transformation. Oshinmare, rooted in the rich traditions of Yoruba mythology in Nigeria. Ashun Mare is depicted as a rainbow serpent, its serpentine form intertwining with the vibrant colors of the rainbow. Linked closely with the Orisha Ashun, who embodies themes of love, fertility, and rivers, Ashun Mare becomes an extension of these qualities. In Yoruba mythology, Ashun Mare is often invoked in rituals and ceremonies associated with renewal and regeneration. Its presence is sought to bring about positive transformations, whether in personal growth, agricultural cycles, or broader societal changes. The serpent embodies the idea that from every end, there is a new beginning. And there you have it, dear tribe members, concluding our list of mythological serpents in Africa. If you know of others that weren't featured here, we invite you to share them in the comments. This video was inspired by our Snake People series. If you haven't checked it out yet, we encourage you to explore the series and delve deeper into the fascinating world of serpent mythology. Thank you for joining us on this mythical journey. And as always, Thank you for watching our video about the mythical snakes of Africa, and we hope you enjoyed it. What lessons did you draw from this story? Share your thoughts with us in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe and be part of the tribe. Thank you for watching the Tales of the Savannah. We will see you next time in the Savannah.